The 4th of July is a celebration of all things red, white, and blue. And you don't just have to raise a flag to show your patriotism, you can also bake a flag. And I'll show you how with this really fun to make and delicious American pie. You need a rimmed baking sheet and some olive oil and a pound of pizza dough. You can make your own like I have, or you could stop by your favorite pizzeria and ask them for a pound of dough. So just spread a little bit of oil across the bottom of the pan and then get your dough down. Punch it down first to sort of flatten it. And then just work it out toward the edges with your fingers. And you can see that it pulls back. That's just the resistance that you get from the glutens. But what you can do if it's really pulling back is just stop, let it rest for a few minutes, and then return to pressing it toward the edges. And it will have relaxed a little bit by that point and it'll make it a little bit easier. And we want to have a nice thick border of dough for our pizza. So be sure you leave some at the edges like that and work more from the center. And you should also have your oven preheated to 500 degrees at this point with a rack in the lowest position. And that'll help ensure that the bottom of your crust is baked through and golden brown when it's done. Now there are very few blue edibles in the world, but one of them is blue potatoes. These little guys are ideal. Smaller is better, but you could also use blue fingerling potatoes or even purple potatoes. They have a similar color when they're sliced, very thinly sliced. You can use a mandolin or a sharp knife. And for a little extra flavor, a sprig of rosemary. Just start at the top of the sprig and strip straight down and they all come right off in one foul swoop. Very easy. And then just break the needles up so you don't have any big chunks in there. And you'll need a little bit of oil, about a tablespoon. Okay, give that a good toss. And something else I always like to do when I'm making a pizza, season your dough with salt and pepper before your toppings go down. Now for our stars. Shingle your blue potatoes in one corner of the dough. Now the actual stars aren't going to go on to the potatoes until after we pull the pizza out of the oven, and you'll see what I mean in just a minute. You'll need about half a cup of sliced potatoes. That will come from one medium blue potato or a handful of small potatoes like the ones I'm using today. And just overlap them the way shingles on a roof overlap. Make sure we get plenty of that rosemary on there. Now, cheese. You'll want two cups of shredded mozzarella from a one pound block, and just sprinkle that evenly over the dough inside the border. You wanna keep that free and clear. You don't wanna have too much cheese down because if you do, your red stripes will slide around and it won't hold its flag shape. Okay, and then for the stripes, you have to have 13 stripes to represent the 13 colonies. So we have seven stripes of tomatoes and six stripes of cheese underneath. So what you'll need to do is slice a pint of cherry or grape tomatoes into thin rounds and starting at the top, line them up into rows. And again, you wanna keep your borders clear so that they'll bake up in the oven and just carry on building out your rows with your tomatoes. I just can't help but have a huge smile looking at this patriotic pizza into a 500 degree oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. That's it, and then it's ready to eat. Hot from the oven, is this an epically awesome pizza or what? There's just one finishing touch, and that's the stars for our blue potatoes. Just drop little cubes of mozzarella randomly over the top, and they'll melt down a little bit into the potatoes and mimic the stars on a flag. And there you have it, a very patriotic and delicious American pie. Happy 4th of July and happy eating.